we have completed a uh, five markers uh, problem on material cost control under the topics of economic order quantity as well as stock levels so let's uh, look into the next topic that is section c problems which comes under uh, valuation or uh, pricing of issue of materials so we have four methods under this uh, fifo method which is first in first out lifo method last in first out and then third we have simple average and the fourth one weighted average method so today we'll be dealing with the first method uh, fifo method first in first out so the format for uh, all these pro all the four methods fifo lifo weighted average simple average your format will remain the same okay so at the top you're going to write which method under which method you're going to solve and then you will have date receipts issue and balance right receipts means you have received the raw material issue means you have sold the materials and you'll have to calculate the balance after each transaction whether if it's a purchase or whether it is a sales so under receipts under issue and balance you'll have separate three columns called as quantity rate and amount quantity rate and amount that remain common for receipts issue as well as balance so starting with the first question the transaction given over there is 2nd of march what was the transaction received 200 units of goods at rupees 3 per rate 200 units received at rupees rate what 2 per unit so 200 multiplied by 2 is 400 rupees so on 2nd march the balance is same just copy paste 200 at the rate 2 400 rupees clear next 10th is the next transaction where again you have received goods that is 200 units at the rate 2.4 200 multiplied by 2.4 you will get 720 rupees when you're writing the balance you always have to consider what is the previous day's balance okay whatever is the previous day's balance 200 to 400 copy paste as it is in the next date 200 to 400 that's your previous day's balance so today's balance you will add on to it 200 2.4 and 720 okay next date 15th of march what was the question given there issued 200 units okay it just told uh, issued sorry 250 units now the entire 250 units can be issued at two slots okay because the first lot has how many units only 200 how much we need to issue 250 units so i take the entire first lot 200 to 400 and the rest 50 units i will take it from the second slot that is 200 2.4 and 720 so from the next batch of goods i will issue the remaining 50 units at rupees 2.4 so 50 into 2.4 i will get 120 so please understand here since i have two batch of goods and i am following first in and first out method whatever goods have come first will move out first okay once this is emptied then i will move on to the next batch of goods and then issue them okay accordingly the question will follow so what is the balance as on 15th of march 150 units how did i get this 200 i've completely issued so there's no balance about it the second batch of goods out of 200 how much have i issued 50 goods so the balance is 200 minus 50 150 goods at what rate 2.4 150 multiplied by 2.4 you get the answer 360 rupees hope you're clear in calculating the balance moving on to the next date 18th of march 
again the company has received goods how much 250 goods or 250 units at the rate 2.6 so i'll just multiply 250 multiplied by 2.6 is 650 rupees so what is the balance carry forward as that date first check for previous day's balance 150 at the rate 2.4 carry forward 150 at the rate 2.4 360 rupees and then what is today's balance 250 units at the rate 2.6 will give you 650 rupees okay so the last date in the question is given 20th march what have they done they've issued 200 units of goods now whenever they are receiving goods they will give with the rate okay see here 2 2.4 2.6 but whenever they are issuing they will not give you the rate in the question it is up to us to find out the rate depending upon it's a fee for method lifo weighted average or simple average so last date they have given us issued 200 units of goods again whatever rule we applied here will be applied here as well so 100 so we need to issue 200 units how much do we have in the first batch 150 so the entire first batch units i'm going to issue 150 at the rate 2.4 360 units or 360 rupees out of 200 i have sold 150 what is the balance i need to sell 50 units i will take it from the next batch of goods got it so 50 at the rate 2.6 i will get 130 rupees how do i calculate the balance 250 minus 50 is 200 i am not carrying forward 150 at the rate 2.4 reason i already have sold those amount of goods whatever is left unsold that i will carry forward so 200 at the rate 2.6 i will get 520 rupees is that clear to all of you so how much have i sold in total 150 plus 50 200 units of goods clear so we have entered all the day twice transaction 2nd of march 10th 15 18 and 20th of march so once you complete this table okay the valuation of issue of materials table you have to write for every question the closing stock closing stock as on which is the last date given in the question 20th of march so closing stock on 20th of march is how many goods are there 200 units of goods at the rate 2.6 clear this is what you need to mention after each table that you complete okay so this is the uh, valuation of issue of materials under the first method first in first out so let's solve the same question which we did uh, under fivo method that is first in and first out uh, now we'll do the same question under lifo method that is last in first out the last batch of goods will be issued first okay so having the same question same details everything uh, let's begin with the first date that is 2nd of March uh, we have received 200 units of goods at the rate 2 so 200 into 2 400 same day carry forward the balance 200 at the rate 2 400 rupees the second date is 10th of March that happens uh, we have received 200 goods worth uh, rupees 2.4 per unit so 200 multiplied by 2.4 will get the value 720 carry forward the same previous balance 200 to 400 today's balance that is on 10th march 200 at the rate 2.4 720 clear thus far now moving on to the next day that is 15th of march now here you need to be careful because we are issuing how many units 250 units okay now as i mentioned earlier the last batch will be issued first okay so which is the last batch under this is the first and this is the last so how many units we have to issue 250 how many units do we have under the last batch 200 units so the entire thing you're going to issue that is 200 
at the rate 2.4 720 clear out of 250 the last batch consisted of 200 units the remaining balance 50 units where do we issue from the remaining balance since everything is gone here we have issued what's remaining with us this batch so out of this i'm going to issue 50 units 50 units at the rate 2 rupees remember this 2 rupees so 50 multiplied by 2 100 so what will be my balance does this balance exist nil under this balance 50 i have issued so 200 minus 50 150 150 at the rate to 300 rupees clear moving on to the next date 18th we have received 250 units at the rate 2.6 the val uh, value is 650 rupees first carry forward the previous day's balance 150 units at the rate to 300 what is today's balance 18th 250 units at the rate 2.6 720 rupees the final date 20th of march now here again we are issuing 200 units again we will start issuing with the last batch of units so when we look at this the previous day's balance the last batch consists how many units 250 units how many should we issue only 200 so take directly from there 200 at the rate 2.6 200 multiplied by 2.6 520 rupees clear now how do we write the balance whatever is left 150 at the rate 2 300 carry forward the same 150 at the rate 200 300 rupees the balance that is 250 that is the second batch out of which we have issued how much 200 so 250 minus 200 the balance is 50 units so 50 units at the rate 2.6 will give us the value 130 rupees hope it's clear to you leaf form method you will issue from the last batch fee form method you will start issuing from the first batch is this clear what do we write the closing stock as on 20th of march we have two batch of units remember under fee for method we only had one batch of units here we have two one batch is 150 units at the rate 2 rupees and the second batch is 50 units at the rate 2.6 hope the method of fee for that is first in first out and leave for that is last in first out methods are clear to all of you so with this we complete the first question